What is going on guys? Upstate Blake here. Hope you're having a great day. This is a really, really exciting one. Uh, just pulled into the shop here to say hi to my buddy, check in with him, and then we're going up the hill for a real treat today. This weekend did me dirty, so sorry if my voice sounds a little bit coarse, but I'm a little too excited. So I'm gonna do my best to stay upbeat and chipper. Kind of hard not to when you're looking at what I am right now. <laughs> Um, I know it has been a hot minute since my last video. Um, I think maybe I'll do a separate video just to kind of fill you guys in how the summer's been going and what I've been up to. It's just been nonstop trips and fun stuff we've been doing, but I wanted to wait until we had some more snowmobile content to start this off again, being August and like getting towards the end of the summer here. If you're like me, we're just like dying to scratch that itch for some throttle therapy. Still a few months out from the fun throttle season, but you know, this is the perfect time to go through stuff, get your stuff maintained, fix anything that's broken, and uh, just start to get excited for winter again. So I did buy a new sled, guys. Well, it's a new old sled. Years and years and years of Facebook marketplace hunting, looking for the right deal. Um, and this one kind of just fell into my lap of all things. It does pay to be patient sometimes, guys, and it definitely paid off in my favor. Most of y'all probably already saw the Instagram video and know what I got, but no more suspense. Let's introduce you to the new vehicle on the channel. As I told you guys, I've been on the lookout for one of these old beauties forever now. And uh, ironically, this is my buddy's. Um, he's not too much of a social media guy. So for all intents and purposes, we're just going to call him 2Bs. A backstory on how I obtained this beautiful machine. 2Bs, um, good buddy of mine. I've been talking to all those guys. We hang out with a big group of people. A couple of deals came really close that I was going to purchase. And 2Bs uh, uh, mentioned uh, many months into the conversation, he goes, I actually have one at my house. And, I, and my jaw just hit the floor when he showed me pictures of this. Um, so it's been two years chipping away at him. Just, can I please get it? Can I please get it? And uh, he's very, he's like me, guys, uh, very sentimentally attached to things. And uh, he didn't want to let it go. But uh, this summer, he told me a couple months back, he's like, buddy, I, I mean, I'm just sitting on too much stuff. If you want it, it's yours. So this was technically not for sale. Um, it just, you know, me pestering. I, I love you too, bees. I'm sorry for being so annoying, but... Oh my God, I'm just genuinely honored that uh, you let it go to me and uh, I can't thank you enough. And we're gonna go over everything he included with this. I'm more excited for this than I was my boost. <laughs> this is a 1999 ZRT 800 um, with a different motor. We're gonna go over everything that he's done to this sled and uh, all the little quirks and things that he's got going on with it. I cannot believe what good condition he's kept this thing in. So opening the hood, guys, triple pipe save lives, and we finally own one. As you can probably tell from the uh, the Predator cylinders on this, this actually has a Hooper 1100cc motor in it, um, all done from John Hooper back in the day. Only has 171 miles on this motor, and it definitely shows. Um, this was actually his trail sled, so this is pump gas setting. It's got Makuni uh, flat slides on it. No idea why I said pump gas setting. It's a pump gas motor, guys. It's not a freaking four-stroke turbo. Don't got no flashes on it. Apologies. Brain fart. I must have been way more shot than I thought I was from this weekend. Jesus. Fun fact, which I didn't know, um, if you guys are in the drag racing scene or know old school modification companies, I never knew that Hooper actually made their own pipes. They did it for a very limited time. Um, I think it was like one or two years, but this does have the uh, Hooper Predator pipes on it. I'm scatterbrained, guys. I'm all over the place. I can't, you know, formulate sentences. I don't even know what I want to start with first. I just want to sit down in this chair and just keep looking at it. Just, just look at it. I own a triple. He's just starting to clean it. Um, I barely even touched this thing. Um, I pulled it out, you know, made the Instagram video and stuff. If you guys knew uh, my buddy 2Bs like I do, he is methodical with all of his stuff. Um, the last time this was started was in 2011. So this has sat for a little over 12 years. Um, it's been in his heated garage the whole time, so it doesn't get better. He knows his stuff. He's taking care of it. I haven't even attempted to pull it over yet, nor will I. Going to keep you guys posted every step of the way of what we're doing with this and getting it running for the first fire up. I'm actually headed out of town today, but when I get back up, our plan is to, uh, first things first, we're going to rip these carbs off, check them out and clean them. Um, just make sure that they're okay. You probably saw this on the other side. 
I actually went and bought uh, new fuel lines already. You know, anytime stuff just sits a while, you know, I just, I, they're probably okay, but I'm not taking any chances. A new fuel line from Wall Bros. It was like 15 bucks, easy peasy. So we're going to do that. Clean the carbs. We're going to get the air box out of here. Get this rack off. Once we get all that off, we're going to take a little magnetic light. Check in there. You know, worst case scenario, knock on wood. I really hope not, but, you know, got to make sure that there's no antifreeze in the case, you know, just from sitting so long. And with how 2 Beast takes care of his stuff, I highly doubt it. But, you know, that would be the absolute worst case scenario. I don't see it, you know, being likely. Once we go through that, probably put some new spark plugs on it, you know, just the normal stuff and give this uh, unit a pull here. He had his guy um, put, I, I can't remember the chemical, but you can see some of the stuff still in there. Um, he coated this whole motor, but when he put it away for storage to make sure that it doesn't rust, I'm really happy he did. I mean, look at this thing, guys. Look down in the belly pan. I mean, are, are you kidding me? As far as some other stuff goes that he did to this, other than the motor, we already went through that. Um, the first thing I noticed was this, which is interesting, which I love. He added another uh, heat exchanger on the side of this. This thing should actually run pretty cool. I think this was uh, from Polaris. I don't, I don't know, but you know, more cooling on a beautiful old machine that I want to keep forever doesn't hurt. And he only did it on the one side, but even that should, you know, really help with cooling. I'm really trying to be as genuine and honest as I can. With doing reviews and just going over stuff so four thousand dollars was the final price guys um i i know you guys probably saw from my last video that was at the top of my budget range just for an old toy but at that price this is a steal you don't even understand how much money and time and heart and soul he put into this thing so that was a really good price at least in my opinion for this so four thousand dollars let's check out some of the extras he threw in and it's just a list that never ends you guys are gonna your pants you can kind of already tell the, the type of awesome dude he is and how he takes care of his stuff, but he gave me the original ZRT cover, which is barely sun faded. It's just unbelievable. This is the original cover he got from the dealership. Um, he threw in a second windshield, extra helixes. Um, these are plugs for the carburetor at the bottom. He threw in some extra studs. I mean, everything from the last day that he ever wrote it. It's, it's all here. He's, he gave me a second primary clutch that I believe is weighted for this motor and i believe the story was he lent out or gave away one of the cylinders to a buddy never got it back doesn't even matter so he gave me two of three original zrt 800 cylinders pistons still in the box uh heads i mean it just i'm just so overwhelmed when he bought this he went right to a bigger motor this sled has had a couple of different motors in it you know i believe he went from an 800 to a thousand or a 1050, a couple different 1050 motors, uh, testing and trying different ones out. And then he went to this 1100 Hooper. Um, so these 800 cylinders, heads, pistons have never been fired once, which is just unbelievable. They are brand spanking new. Look at that. It's a time cap. This is, this is a freaking time capsule, guys. Right now we're at the cover, extra windshield, and all of these parts he threw in. Um, look at this. You guys know I have a fat head. Um, he's definitely a smaller dude than I am, but, um, I, he goes, do you want the helmet that I had with it? I said, absolutely. So I've never even seen one of these helmets before. I mean, look at it. He threw in that helmet, this ZRT hat. I mean, I, I'm, it's just, it's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. The, everything that he's gotten documented with this thing. Speaking of documentation and onto the coup de gras of what he threw in with this is the binder of every single piece of paperwork he ever got for this. The dyno sheets, the original brochure, every cent that he spent on this sled, you know, regarding motors and purchasing it, he has everything in a binder and he gave it to me. Well, speaking of dyno sheets, guys, um, he included this uh, for the 1050. He never had the 1100 dynoed. So, uh, you know, as you guys know, I'm gonna be making a million videos of this sled, keeping you posted all the way. But uh, we were just talking and think it'd be really awesome once we get this thing running to take the 1100 to the dyno and see what it makes. Leave a comment below what you think it'll make. Um, we'll see if we can end up making that happen. And I got to talk to some people, but my guesstimation would be probably in the 220 range for an 1100. That sounds about right. Pump gas, 1100, about 220 horse. I'm just getting so overwhelmed again, guys. I mean, these are the original Hooper stickers. Every single thing he's got documented. The original sheet from Hooper for the Predator 1100 and everything to do and don't. The original order forms from Articat. The original magazines. The dealer brochures. Owner's manual with everything. The spare key. I mean, it, it is literally absolutely perfect. So I think my first move is going to be um, getting this stuff laminated because I want to keep it together forever with this sled.
I mean, you guys are witnessing this firsthand. I had to pull this out because this literally looks like it was printed yesterday. I had to take a double look at it. I mean, look at the color. It's still, it looks perfect. Not a scratch on it. Look at the old ZR600. I mean, this was the original brochure from 1999. Blair Morgan, look at that. 1999 Thundercat 1000. The absolute big daddy pinnacle of speed back in the day. I think these made, um, I know 98 was the fastest year or made the most power, but I think those made 170 horsepower, give or take. I mean, look at this stuff. I had one, not this year, but I did have a Z370 fan. We're going to have to go through all this stuff. I'm making sure that this stuff is perfect and kept forever. Nothing worse than getting teased, guys. Um, I wish more than anything I could start this up to hear it for myself and to show you guys what this thing sounds like. Um, you know, the next steps are going to be doing everything we said, going through it, making sure everything's okay first, uh, cleaning the carbs, just stuff like that. And uh, we're definitely going to be making a video on the first fire up. But I have a, kind of an assumption it's going to sound something like this. <laughs> As far as graphics go, guys, I couldn't have lucked out more because this is my absolute favorite year that they did for ZRTs. I love the colors. I just love everything about it and how it looks. So yes, guys, this is my brand new old 1999 ZRT800 with a big block triple in it. I can't get over that, I'm, that I own this and I'm sitting on it right now. At the price he gave this thing to me at, I, I just keep making the joke. I go, this is our sled brother. Thank you so much for uh, putting your faith in me and letting it go. I know it pulled on some heartstrings and you're like me. I get sentimentally attached to freaking anything with a motor. So um, this was definitely a way bigger deal than I'm making it out to be right now. I just cannot freaking wait until I'm on the sled. It's running. There's just a white backdrop going down the lake and all I hear is... Cats out of the bag, guys, no pun intended. The official new Upstate Blake Wheelies Mobile, well, the second one, has entered the garage and it is never leaving. Guys, so happy to share this moment with you. I'm very excited. We'll keep you in the loop every step of the way. As always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next video. Whee!